I was gonna have a really solid video for you guys today. But I woke up, walked outside, and the bike I usually have sitting right here, uh, it's gone. Someone stole it. And I just, I don't know what to do right now. I mean, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to dial down these emotions right now, but it's kind of hard. So I, it's hard to be, it's hard for me to focus. But this bike that I had back here, I was gonna make a video about it eventually. I actually bought the bike uh, to flip it. I bought it really cheap, a really good deal on the bike. And it was an investment for me, like right now, just, I've had it for less than a year and I was gonna sell it for double the price that I bought it for. Well, I'm pretty much just getting on and let you guys know that I usually do upload Mondays, but today I'm not gonna be posting anything business related, anything Airbnb related or investing related because I simply can't focus right now. My, that bike, it's just gone. I keep it inside because I live in a sketchy part of town. So I, you know, if any of you guys were wondering why I, I keep it back there, it's just because that's where it's safest. I got home from church yesterday and it's a beautiful day outside. It's supposed to be 65 today. So I left it right outside my back door, literally right by my door handle. Like whoever took it, just had the balls to come right up to my prop, or right up to the back door of this place, and it's gone now. I, I just got off the phone with the cops, and they're gonna do what they can about it. But at this point, I'm trying to do as much as I can to stay, stay all there in one place because I don't know if you guys have ever experienced anything like this, but it's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. I mean, it feels like I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I was gonna make a video talking about how I was gonna profit off that bike. But looks like I'm, that video may never come, so thought I'd keep you guys updated since I was going to work on a video today, but at this point I feel like just crawling into a hole and never coming back out. I feel like just laying in bed and rotting away. I don't know how to explain this feeling, but. Yeah, I bought the bike in Copart for $2,400 and it was, the MSRP on the bike is seven grand and the cable book value is 5,200. So I was gonna sell that thing, you know, this year probably, just make a quick little profit on it. Enjoyed the crap out of that bike. So yeah, it was something that I was really proud of. I was really proud of locking in that really cheap price and I have a clean title with the bike right here, it's just, I had a clean title on that bike through Copart. I don't know if you guys are familiar with what Copart is, but it's a great way for you guys to make some quick cash if you if you need money. I was just definitely gonna make an in-depth video talking about that thing. And now, I don't know what to tell you guys. Hope you guys are all having a better day than I am. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on what happens with it. I just don't know how to react right now. I'm just super, super torn apart by this. Yep, it's a beautiful, beautiful machine. It had carbon fiber on it, 700 cc's. It's my dream bike. So no point, I'm trying to just be as optimistic about this as I possibly can. So thank you guys for Bearing with me, I'm sorry if today's video isn't what you thought it would be. I guess I'll just take the day off and reflect and see how I can recover from this loss. I'll keep you guys updated on what happens. That being said, peace. Have a great day. 